Welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel. In this video, we'll consider conversions from binary fractions to decimal. So we'll see how a given binary fraction is being converted into its equivalent decimal number. For that, what we do is we'll consider an example binary fractions to be precise. So I'll write it as one one zero one point one zero one one. So this is the given binary number, fractional binary number, and I want to write its decimal equivalent. So to do that, what we do is first I'll consider one one zero one, and I'll write its binary equivalent, uh, decimal equivalent. Then I'll consider the fractional number. Then I'll write its decimal equivalent. So one. So I'll multiply this number by two to the power zero. I know the procedure already, and I multiply this with two to the power one. I multiply the, this digit with two to the power two, and I multiply the last digit with two to the power three. And if there are any more digits, I have to continue this process. So it is two to the power zero is one, one into one. So I'll get one over here. So next process is uh, next digit is zero. I'll not consider this zero into anything is zero only. So next I'll consider this. This is one into two to the power two is four. Nothing but four. Next the last one. So here also it is one. So one into two to the power three. Two to the power three is eight. Eight into one. I'm doing it, which turns out to be eight. So I have to finally add up all three numbers. So eight plus four twelve plus one turns out to be thirteen. So its decimal equivalent is thirteen point. The fractional part I have to yet do it. So I'll consider the fractional part now. So I'll consider one zero one one. So the way I have written this as two to the power zero, two to the power one, two to the power two, two to the power three. For these things, I'll write the positions. Let this be two to the power minus one, and this will be two to the power minus two, and this will be two to the power minus three, and this will be two to the power minus four. The way I have multiplied here also I need to multiply. So one into two to the power minus one. Two to the power minus one is one over two, which is equal to point five. So point five into one turns out to be point five only. Next is zero into this thing. So it turns out to be zero only. So I'll not write this. So next is one into two to the power minus three. Two to the power minus three is one over uh, two to the power three, which turns out to be one by eight. One by eight is Point one two five. So I'll take out a calculator. I'll calculate one by eight, which turns out to be point one two five into one, which is equal to point one two five only. Next is two to the power minus four. I can write this as one by two to the power four, which turns out to be one by sixteen. And one by sixteen is point zero six two five. So finally, I have to add up all these numbers to get the fractional decimal equivalent. So I'll add up all those things. So first I'll write 0.5, then I'll write 0.125, then I'll write 0.0625. So I have to add up all these three numbers. So here I'll get 5. 5 plus 2 is 7. 6 plus 2 is 8. 1 plus 2 is 5. 1 plus 5 is 6. Point zero. So this is the decimal equivalent. So I'll write it here: thirteen point six eight seven five. So this is the decimal equivalent. So this is how we convert a given binary fraction number to its decimal equivalent number. This is all about converting binary fractions to its decimal. Thanks for watching.